Welcome me into the Dynasty Total Access. I'm your host expert, and you know I got the homie Farquhar with me. What's up, my dude? Hey, let's get it. Let's get it, man. We got a lot to talk about, and we got a special guest on, on the show. It's H Speed, the Titans, Mister Let's Go Back himself. What's going on, man? Hey, let's go back. Man, no. 18 is almost here, no. man. Let's get man, it, man. 18 is so close. But let us not forget, we still got a high-stakes season to go through before we get to Madden 18. But since Madden 18 is on everybody's mind, we got a special guest interview today. And I love it anytime I get to do a show with this homie. It's the commish, Nasty Noop. What's going on, man? Not too much. Happy to be back. Happy to be home. Sleeping in my own bed tonight. So uh, EA Play was uh, exciting. Learned a lot. Met a lot of the guys that I've had uh, conversations with on Twitter. So uh, building up a, a nice little network uh, for the league, man, which was which was great. All right, so let's jump into it before we get to these picks. Uh, and I know the commission wanted to get on and discuss some things. So first, let's kind of talk about Madden 17 in review. Exactly what, Dion, what your focus was for the dynasty as we look back at Madden 17. Well, my, my major focus, man, uh, when we kicked off Madden 17 was to start branding the league. That was the most important thing, man, getting the, the league's name out there, letting people know exactly what we do, what we brought to the table, uh, trying to separate ourselves from another league, which I won't mention uh, because yeah, I just don't got time for that at this point. But I just wanted to, you know, put us on that level. And at some point, surpass that league as far as yeah. the, the stuff that we do over here so year one was about branding man branding 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 and i and, and people are are, are are really starting to know the dynasty i'll be honest with you okay so when when you talk about branding how is that going to look um as we go into madden 18 because the branding can't stop so no. how, how do we keep that momentum going as we step into 18 well, the branding continues by changing up the look. Uh, my goal is to continue to put out some of the hottest graphics on Twitter, uh, to post our game of the week and a, and a couple other things. You guys have already seen one of the uh, new graphics on the way. What would you guys think about that? Oh, man. Just, man, just so beautiful. I cannot wait until everybody gets to see what we're doing. Yeah. Yeah, and uh, I just contacted him the other day. There's a I, I'm, I'm having him work on another one as well. Uh, that's that he was even excited about. He, he was like, I can't wait to work on this one. So, in, in doing that, on my end, I'm gonna keep doing all the graphics for the YouTube channel, trying to update uh, a lot of the logos for the shows. Uh, whenever we put up a, a, a show to have the cover of the, the video looking eye-catching because just from my experience just with this this recent show that we did and for us to surpass uh over 550 views mm -hmm. first time ever in that's crazy email history that's what it's about man people look at that stuff they that's the first thing they see something that catches their eye and then they want to click on it so yeah that's what i learned from this video and that's where i'm gonna try to go with it with all the shows moving into 18 and, and moving forward outstanding okay so now the question i know farquad andre and myself we all got what <laughs> does that mean for the users of the dynasty what is that going to require of 31 other guys besides the commish <laughs> it means that everyone is going to have to step up in madden 18 and do something i, I think i've said it before you jumping on one show throughout the entire version of Madden 18 is not going to keep you here. It's just not going to keep you here. If, if you see anything, you see the stuff that we have going on, you see the direction that we are pushing the league in, you should be just as excited as the people on this show and a couple other people in the league to want to be a part of this and to contribute. That is what no we're asking. Just come on, help us out. Help us get a seat at the table. Just posted that picture in the group me. I want somebody in this league to have a seat at that table so they can go sit down, uh, express their views, what we expect as a uh, as a uh, CFM community, what we want in the game from 
our league you know other yeah. leagues have this we should have it as well why not Ex exactly and I, I love that you posted that picture and you used that example as far as why why shouldn't we have a seat at that table i hate hearing some of the guys say well i just don't have the time or Absolutely. you know it's like that's like a full-time job well don't don't be here because i mean th at, at the end of the day yes this is a video game but also we have uh, we we're, we're, we're trying to get somewhere the other top tier leagues are and you know and this is an opportunity for us to actually put our foot into you know work hand in hand with these guys that develop this game like we we have that opportunity right so i hate hearing guys say just complacent about oh, i don't have time for this or whatever. so so fucking leave like like leave uh, that, that that's how i'm gonna put it i'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put that right that, that's a and far quad hits the nail on the head right Please. there we don't have any problem with guys saying i got too many things in my personal life that i can't afford to give up to to be a part of dynasty like y'all want and that's fine we understand that completely and we, we had hold, guys leave the league. We don't also. hold grudges about any of that stuff. Yeah, no we, doubt. We, if, if Madden is taking over your personal life, then you need to adjust your personal life. No doubt. Because Madden should never go before what you got going on in your real life. But for other guys in this league, like Dion, like like Farquaad, like myself, like Andre, man, it's we are so passionate about where the dynasty is going that I'm willing to put the work in to see the end result. And if you're not at that level, like Farquhar said, man, bounce. Man, you still you still are brothers, but we need 31 guys besides the commission with that same focus, that same mindset. And if you don't have that mindset in season one of Madden 18, you may not make the season two. We're not going to talk about high stakes around the corner, get involved. We're talking about season one, you weren't involved. We need a new user. And, that, and I think that's what Farquhar is saying. Absolutely. I think that, you know, I'm probably one of the newest, at least on this panel uh, of, of guys. I'm one of the new guys that came. I came in 17. So I didn't I didn't see 16, but I, I seen a lot of strides just in this particular man this season as far as from the beginning when I got to it to where we are now. But we still got a, a whole, you know, we didn't rain 100 miles, but we still got like a lot more to go. And in order to do that, we need everybody's participation. And hey, we don't hold no grudges if you say, you know what? Um, Dynasty's a great league, man, but it's just not for me. If it's not mm -hmm. for you, it's not for you. Um, no hard feelings, man, but we can get somebody in here who uh, who wants to be a part of this league, man, and, and want to uh, progress, progress this league up to where the vision that we all should have, uh, along with Dion, um, and pushing this league up to the forefront. We can be, uh, you know, we can be wherever we want to be. We just have to put in the the work, man. Yeah, and I love that you it. said that, man. I imagine, and we're doing this with you know X O amount of guys. We don't even have full participation from thirty two guys. We're doing this with Dynasty is on the map. I mean, due to the works of what maybe 10, 15 guys. I want to say, you know, yeah, if that's, that. that's putting in the work, man. Imagine what we can do with thirty two full participants, man. No doubt. Oh my God, just that that that's what I'm going to keep preaching, man. Thirty two full participants. Imagine what we can do. Imagine. And it, but it's not even about being on the level like Dion is at. About doing shows every it's other the day. Of it's, recording. It's, the, it's the little it's, things. It's not about having 40 episodes of one show. That's not what it's about. But, man, can you help get subscribers up on YouTube? Can you write articles that get seen on Twitter that other people are seeing that get them excited about Dynasty? Can you donate on a regular basis to Dion so he can push this league? It's, it's, it's doing other things. Not everybody is meant to be on a show every other day. It's just not it's just not feasible. Mm -hmm. but, well, come up with an idea. You know what I mean? Come up with an exactly, idea that, that's that, it. That, that, you know, something fresh. Um, you know, like, like, like Expert said, you don't have to be in the forefront. Um, right. Like Dion, right. Dion is more of a like he said. He always said he would rather be in the behind the scenes. But Dion had to jump out front in order to get the ball rolling. Yeah, no doubt, no doubt. And Dion, uh, one, one more thing we got to talk about. So I know we have a plan to get subscribers up on the channel, and I think SJ has a really, really good idea. Can you speak about what is needed from the Dynasty users to make this happen? Well, in my short conversation with him, he wants to do like a raffle. 
he wants to raffle off uh, two Madden 18 uh, copies. And in order to get those copies, you, you probably have to be subscribed to the channel. And maybe we'll announce the winners on one of the uh, league shows. I'm not sure yet. I'm, I'm still, like, talking to him about it. But I'm just right. asking, you know, uh, you know, that requires funds at this point. So mm -hmm. I'm, I'm maybe asking, you know, maybe three, four dollars per user in the league. That's more than enough to help us out to uh, obtain those two copies. And and then I, I will hand it off to him and he will take it from there and run with it. Uh, like I always say, any money that comes into the league is always put back into the league. I, right. You can always see that through the intros, the visual aspects uh, of the graphics and everything that comes here, man. Uh, I'm not hoarding any money. It's all going back in to, <laughs> to the enjoyment of the league, man. And Dion not taking his wife out for dinner. With, with no, league money. I'm not. Trust <laughs> me. No, no, baby, don't worry about it. Dynasty got this. <laughs> trust me, and it pays off because the T-shirts that we sent to uh, Rex and Clint at EA. He came up to Tone like, oh, I recognize that T-shirt. You guys sent me that. And he started a conversation with us. That was what it was for. Yeah. I think back on it now, I kind of wish I, we would have. I'm, I'm glad I did that, but I was wondering maybe if I should have hand carried them out there and handed it to him. But I, I think that was a good way of doing it because he no, did I, come I up to Tone. I think putting it in the mail was the right way. Okay. Uh, because I think if you would have handed it to him at EA Play, they would have just thought, well, they just brought extra shirts to try and smooth with us but the fact that you mailed it to those guys with with the magazine cover with our dynasty shirt I think and they approached you about it yeah and that just a, a volumes look. about what we think about those kind of guys and where we want to be at with those kind of guys um and i think next year when we do ea play we actually expand it and send it to multiple more guys than that absolutely and i i think we we can make it so much bigger uh, and I can't wait to see how many shirts we can get. I mean, if we sent out 20 shirts to EA developers, to top YouTube guys, every time that, that we send it to those guys, we have an opportunity of those guys wearing our, our shirt when they do an interview, when they do a show, giving us a shout out. I mean, that's what we're trying to get. And that's how we're going to get our name on the mainstream and not just in the CFM community. Correct. Correct. And like I said, man, I learned a lot from uh, my two days out there, man, interacting with these guys, man. A lot of them guys are cool, man. They're real cool guys. Uh, I know a lot of uh, you guys follow PX1 Sports on, on Twitter. Got to meet him uh, firsthand, and he hit me up about, you know, possibly doing some stuff in the future, So, which is always great because he has a nice size. Uh, he, I think he runs like two or three leagues, and he has a nice size following. And he has, uh, you know, he has Rex's ear and Clint's ear, so... That always helps, man. It's about who you know, and uh, that, yeah. really, that really helps out. All right, man. Dion, anything else you need to get off your chest before we jump into these picks in week 14? Just one last thing. I, I, I need you guys to know, man, I'm, I'm very serious about, you know, if you're not contributing here, I cannot hold on to you anymore. I've got to get some users in here that want to come in and want to work and want to help us get to that table. That's, that's the ultimate goal get someone in this league at that table i don't want to sit at the table i don't want to do that i'd rather somebody else go and represent us and and, and bring all the information back to us uh that's yeah. my goal so see you guys all right man appreciate the commission jumping on yes sir it's the homie nasty newt we appreciate it but let's jump straight into it first game up it's tone dog and those seahawks going up against boot 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 and, and those Steelers. This easy pick for me, Tone Dog with the win. Yeah, Tone Dog with the easy win. Uh, even though, yo, shout out HBO, man. Um, string, stringing together some wins, um, you know. But <laughs> it's the Seahawks coming to town, man. Shout out Tone Dog, man. Actually, that also went out to EA Play and represented yeah. us along with Nasty no Commission. Big shout out um, to him as well. But yes, he also with the win this week. Hey, shout out to Tone, man. Um, for. Uh, you know, getting getting everything together with EA uh, play, um, but I think I kind of smell the upset. Um, HBO, uh -huh. boop, boop, boop. what you gonna do, man? I uh -oh. smell the upset. I'm up, but I can't pick you, man. I'm going with Tone Dog. <laughs> this is not this is not the pick. I'm going with the Seahawks, man. Easy win. Let's go back. Yeah, hold hold that upset for a later game. Next <laughs> up, it's the defending champ KP and those Lions going up against Taz and the Saints. Shout out to the homie Taz doing big things in the dynasty. Uh, our, our second favorite producer. 
But on the sticks, lines is just head and shoulders above. Got to go with the line. lines in this one. KP rolling with this monster roster, man. Just up and down, loaded, it, man. Um, but yeah, too much, too much Lions, man. Goes to goes into New Orleans, beat them up, or something, something nice, man. Lions with the win. Man, KP having the quietest nine and two, ten and two <laughs> season ever. Like no this dude is creeping, and he only got two losses, man. Um, so you know, man, I think he keep the ball rolling. He get this win, but it's probably not going to be as easy of a victory as um, we may think. Um, Taz Riley been playing some good football, man. I watched some of his games. He just it just need like one or two things that's holding him back, man. Yep. Maybe he'll get yep. situated for eighteen. Yeah. Next up, his skill trade in the Chiefs headed to Chicago to play my brother Addy Five and those Bears. This is an easy pick. Bears with the big win. Yeah, Addy Five looking to um, you know. Looking to make some noise come playoff time. Fighting for a playoff spot also. Uh, and this is where you start right here, man. Gets an easy win against the Chiefs. Man, Addy 5, man. Hey, I looked at your schedule, man. Hey, you better harvest your nuts. And it starts tonight. <laughs> <laughs> the Chiefs. Because if you don't, man, you got some tough games coming up. Um, I don't see you making the playoffs, man. Hey, you got to prove me wrong. But you better harvest your nuts tonight. So I'm picking you. Um, to beat the Chiefs, man. Next up, it's the AFC East rivalry. It's Farquad and those Bills going up against Sunshine, a.k.a. Sim Game, and those Jets. Buffalo coming off a tough loss to the Giants. And Butters takes over first place in the AFC East. Same thing every single year. We see these two guys one and two. But I know Buffalo wants this win bad. He goes into New York, and he's going to put a beat down on the Jets this week. Mr. Shouts out, Butters. Mr. I hold triangle. Uh, I'm definitely <laughs> going to get in the lab. I'm going to get in the lab before this game, and I'm going to try this thing out because I have not tried it out at all this matter, and I feel like that's just a cheesy exploit in the game in any way. But uh, if it's if it's that easy, then I'm definitely going to give this a try. But um no, that's how Butters, though, man. Um, once again, it comes down to the one-two punch, him and I. Um, New York's going to be a rainy-ass game, as always. But I, I'm, I'm taking the win, man. I'm not picking against myself, man. I'm, I'm fighting. For, I want this division. I want the playoffs. I'm hungry. Um, we're taking the win this week, man. Absolutely. Hey, Butters, I know this is your division, man. You've been winning the year in and year out. But uh, my man Farquad, if you, you want to win, if you want to get to the playoffs, man, you got to beat this motherfucker, man. You have to beat him. You got to get him out the way you got. Uh, I think y'all had a sim game win, so you, you yeah. got that out the way. Any, I don't give a fuck how you get the win. Win is the win. <laughs> mm-hmm. right, so you got that out the way. You get this win, you're in full control. But I'm going to pick butters just to motivate. <laughs> I'm going to pick it to, to win in a, in a close game, man. Let's see if you can um, get over that hump. Piss off Lord Farquaad so he'll get a win. Let's get it. With that play good, so it's your turn to get on the hunt with the Jets. Next up, it's the big homie in the Patriots going into Philadelphia to face John John and the Eagles. Uh, yeah, either one of these guys see Madden 18, I don't know. Uh, I'm going to pick the Patriots, though. Patriots beat the Eagles. This is a tough game. Uh, um, <laughs> the, the witness protection game. For both of these guys, <laughs> for the most part, um, I'm gonna flip a coin and say <laughs> the Patriots win the football game. <laughs> I'm gonna say the Patriots. <laughs> hey, I was gonna flip a coin too, for real, because this is definitely a coin flip game. Um, any, meeny, miny. <laughs> no, John, John, man, let's go with the Eagles, man. Eagles with the win, man. Next up, it's that boy good in the Giants. Going up against the NFC East rival, it's the Washington Redskins and underrated. Uh, yeah, this is an easy pick for me. Giants with the big win. This, this is, I, 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 this is an upset alert right here. I'm gonna call this game upset alert. Um, not an upset, <laughs> but an upset alert. Um, Giants has I, that game we played. Um, our last week's game, he got hit with some injuries, man. Oh my goodness, it was it was bad. Um, so I know he's got some key guys out. Um, I know Vincent's out. His, his speedy wide receiver Vincent is out for like five, six weeks now. Um, yeah. So yeah. this is this is this is gonna be a close game, but um, that boy with the window. 
right, so that boy good. I looked at his schedule going down the stretch as far as playoffs. I looked at it. looks like he can run the table. Yes, um, sir. Yes, sir. I looked at it the other day. Um, that boy good will not lose another game this year. Mark it down. <laughs> I mean, I looked at the schedule, so um, I'm leaning towards that boy good, but I'm going to pick my Redskins. Underrated. Get a win, man. Get a win for the Burgundy and go. Let's yeah, go back. Stop all that. Stop all that. <laughs> <laughs> Redskins will not be good until Madden 18 when H Speed takes them over. That will be the only time the Redskins will be good. Speaking of H Speed, he's got his Titans going into Houston to place Carl in those Texans. Another easy pick for me. Titans with the big win. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Titans with the big win, man. I don't know what the hell is going on down in Houston, man. Um, but. It's this is this is this is a crazy season for you, man. I thought you were gonna actually make some noise this year. And Titans doing what he do, man. Um, just running that football, um, and that passing game is you know is there when it needs to be, and playing wonderful defense. Um, had not a beast back there locking down that one side of the field. Um, so and, and he, he's got some speedy DBs. So that's just he's got a lot. It's, it's like the no fly zone in Tennessee for the most part, man. Those guys play really good defense. So I'm gonna get this game the Titans, man, with the big big impressive one. Man, I'm going to tell y'all something, man. I, I played these fucking Texans, and we the last five or six games we played, close games. It's a division, it's as they should be. Um, but we're not losing to the Texans. Um, that's <laughs> dead. So in my mind, I'm trying to win out. Uh, I'm not trying to lose another game in the 2023 season, including the playoffs. I'm getting the playoff plays together right now in the lab, and I'm not breaking them out until the playoffs. So... We, we, we <laughs> plan on not losing. You know what? Shut, shut up, Andre. What you gonna What you gonna do different? You gonna run a different run play in the playoffs? I'm gonna run to the left. I'm gonna run to the right instead of the left. <laughs> Come on now. You not You not fooling nobody here. <laughs> Next up, it's the commish Dion and those Falcons going into Carolina to play C. Rob and the Panthers. Uh, this is always a tough game. Mm-hmm. But Dion's finally back from EA play. He finally gets to get back on the sticks. I know he's probably excited about that. So I'm going to pick the Falcons to beat the Panthers this week. This is always a good matchup with these two users. It's a divisional game on top of that. So you know you, both of these teams, they're really familiar with one another. Um, this is going to be a close game. I'm going to I'm gonna give this game to the Panthers though. 21-19, late fourth quarter win. Hey, shout out to C-Rob and... Um... The boy Keys, man, dude is good. He's the second best running back in Dynasty. Um, yeah, he Zeke's got, hurt, so he, he's <laughs> <laughs> he's phenomenal, man. Keys is phenomenal, man. But I think Dion gonna shut that, shut the Keys stuff down. Um, I got Dion winning uh, this game by like seven, man. Next up is King Vitamin and the Browns going into Jacksonville to play Andy Force and the Jaguars. So Andy Force lost his quarterback for the rest of his career. Oh, he is now in the Fox booth doing commentating for the <laughs> Jaguar games because he can no longer play football. And because of that, King Vitamin gets a win against a good Jaguars team minus a quarterback. King Vitamin is coming to this game. Um, he's gonna he's coming into this game a, a little upset. I want to say. Um, yeah. He, he took a he took a nasty loss to a very pass happy Ravens team. Um, he did not capitalize that game, so he's got another big time foe this week, and this is the, um, you know, this is a really good Andy Force Jaguars team um, with no quarterback, but Andy Force always, I mean, he's a great user, so you know, this this is going to be a fight, but I'm going to give this game to the to, to the Cleveland Browns, man. Cleveland Browns go ten and three, bro. Hey, um, this is the battle of the backup quarterback because uh, not only is the Jags playing with his backup. King Vitamin is playing with his backup, and his backup yep. back got hurt last game. Um, having said that, um, which I may not know, um, Andy was number one in defense in the league. Yeah, he is. Yeah, I was just looking at that dude. stat, man. Um, so, King Vitamin, I need you to get this victory, man, because I'm not losing no more games, and I want to take the division. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, uh, put a little bit of pressure on King Vitamin to go ahead and get this win. Uh, King Vitamin with the win, slight win, because Andy Forrest got away with one last night against uh, Gil Garza. I watched that game. Got away with one. All right, next up, it's the homie JB and those Rams 
going up against El Guapo and the 49ers. Shout out to the homie El Guapo celebrating Dad's 80th birthday. Big and shout that's out. Always, always a big thing. Hopefully everything went well. But you don't want to lose to the 49ers. I'm picking JB and the Rams. Uh, this uh, The Rams are having a tough season this year. Man. And the 49ers, well, we are what they thought. We are <laughs> what we thought they were. Um, so, um, JB, I don't want to do this, man. <sighs> I don't want to do this. You know, I, think you're gonna lo- I, I think you're going to lose this game, bro. I oh, think fuck. you're going to lose this game. 49ers with the win this week. Oh, I think it's going to happen. I don't, I don't believe I happen. just heard that. It's going to happen. Absolutely not. It's not <laughs> Happen, JB, man, you won in eleven, man, and he won in ten, man. So, are you tanking, JB? That's what I'm asking. <laughs> Straight with me. All right, don't oh, easy you. mode. If you if you tanking, man, then you then the Forty Nineers will win this game. If not, you'll win this game. So I'm gonna go with the Rams. I don't believe he's tanking, so I'm going with JB. Next up is Darkness and the Bengals. Going up against the co-commish, SJ, and those Cardinals. Don't know what's going on with Darkness. I got to pick the Cardinals in a big win. Yeah. Cardinals with the win. I'm not spending too much time on this pick, man. Shout out Darkness. Uh, but too much, too much, too much Arizona, man. Arizona with the win this week. Um, SJ on the mission, man. I, I ain't got him losing no more games either. I looked at his schedule. Um, I think he takes the NFC West. Um I don't see him losing any more games, so it's going to come down to him and the Seahawks, of course, but I think he's going to edge them out because uh, let's go with SJ. Next up, it's the OG Chris Murray and the Raiders going up against Hot Tub and the Broncos. This is an easy pick. Broncos with a win. Bro, this man is undefeated yet again. Yeah, he is. Undefeated yet again. Oh, and he's got a ton of injuries too, man, and it's just... Denver with the win this week. I ain't gonna spend too much time on this, man. Hey, Chris Murray, get a win, man, but uh, it won't come this week. <laughs> I'm gonna go with Hot Tub, man, and the Broncos. Um, see your ass in the playoffs. <laughs> <laughs> Tell us how you really feel, Andre. It's the new album, man. Next up, it's Mo Booker and those slumping Miami Dolphins going up against Fruit Cocktail and those San Diego Chargers. Mo Booker gets back on the winning horse th- this week. Dolphins with the win. Uh, I don't want to pick the Chargers. Um, and I don't want to pick the Dolphins either. <laughs> but this Chargers team is really, really bad. I don't... That, that's, this team is just really bad. And the Dolphins... I wasn't buying into that motherfucking Kool-Aid. Y'all were sipping <laughs> on. I was, hey, hold on. Hold on. Cowboys weren't. <laughs> the Dolphins are who we thought they were. <laughs> um, <laughs> so, on, on top of that, I'm going to give this game to the Dolphins, man. God damn. I'm going to give it to them. Breezy's just horrible, though. Chargers is, is a bad team. Yeah. All right, cool. So, my man, Mo Booker, man, started off on five. You got that five. Six and no. To oh and six? From the, the pit house to the outhouse. <laughs> um, real quick, real quick. Um, hey, hey, Mo Booker, your ass need to quit. I'm going with the Chargers. Wow. Going with the Chargers. All right. Next up, it's the Dynasty Game of the Week. Tampa's always been about the fear. From the unstoppable Mike Allstock. To the unbreakable Derek Brooks. Like Warren Sapp. The intimidation is their weapon. These are the Bucks. In Dallas. Good guys wear a star. From Landry's Doomsday defense. To the triplets creating a dynasty of their own. Like Captain Comeback, they play as heroes. These are the Cowboys. It's the homie Gil Garza and 
those Buccaneers coming into Big D to face expert in those Dallas Cowboys. Man, Garza is upset coming off of that loss, just like Andre talked about. Shouldn't have got the L. Come on, Madden, review the dang touchdown. Are you serious? Yeah. It's ridiculous. But you know I can never pick against myself. With the backup quarterback, Cowboys with the win. I'm going with hey, I'm I'm not gonna spend too much time on this pick, man. I'm 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 gonna pick Dallas with this also, man. You you just got it going right now, going strong, and you're talking a lot of shit in the chat and getting a lot of people's heads. That's that's the far cry way right there. Um but you gotta you know, the only difference is you got a damn good roster compared to mine. So <laughs> but um this is a great game of the week. I'm excited to watch. Garza though, he's always tough, he's gonna be there, come play off time yeah. competing for a Super Bowl. I'm gonna give this a big D though, but that home cooking is gonna definitely help this game. Cowboys with the win. Man, this is a big, big game. This is like a playoff game because the winner yeah, of this is. game is going basically going to be in full control of, yeah. of uh, you know, the number one seed in, in the NFC. Um, Garza and, and, and Expert has played some tough ones. I think Expert got the last couple, though, I believe. Um, yeah. So, um, but I think. I'm going. I think I'm going to lean towards Garza because of the backup quarterback situation. I don't think he lets two backup quarterbacks beat him two weeks in a row. Um, Garza is upset. They at least should have reviewed the, the last play. No doubt. No that doubt. That was crazy. So I'm gonna go with Gil Garza maybe in the close in the close game. But if expert win this game, man, that's a as, as Hot Tub said, that's a statement win. <laughs> 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 oh my god. Okay, next up it's Kentlin J <laughs> and those Colts going <laughs> up against Houdini and the Ravens. Another game I'm not even gonna waste no time on. Ravens with the easy win. Hey, Kentland, man. Yeah, Kenneth, man. whatever I, his name is. Kenneth Le- hey, Damn, it's name Leroy. We just gonna call him Leroy. <laughs> <laughs> his name Leroy. Um Damn, bro! I need I need this win this week, man. I'm competing against the Ravens, and I'm competing against the Jets to try to take that wild card spot and the fucking the, or the division. So, damn, bro! I don't know what's going on with you, man. But um, this may be your final four weeks in the dynasty, man. Um, <laughs> so try to get a win, you know, while you're here. <laughs> That's all. But Ravens with the win. Damn, he did all that to get the Ravens to win. All right, so look. <laughs> Hey, Jay played me hard the last game, man. He, he almost got it done, but we were pretty comfortable and confident we were going to win the game. Um, I think he might give the Ravens some trouble. And so on his way um, to the exits, um, <laughs> I'm going to give him this win against the Ravens because Houdini said he got the shit locked up. And I think Jay might uh, give him some humble pie and uh, win this game. Let's go back. Okay. Last game of the week. It's Matty Ice and those Packers going into Minnesota to play the homie from down under. Hamilton and those Vikings. Uh, Packers need this win. Continue to get that wild card spot. Have a chance to go win the division. Matty Ice will be focused. I'm going to get this one to the Packers. This is my Dark Horse team, man. This is my Dark Horse team. Packers with the win this week. Not going to spend too much time on it. All right, so Matty Ice, Matty Ice, Matty Ice, man. Hey, uh, uh, against the Saints, I don't know what the fuck you was doing. Why yeah. you kick the field goal? That that was baffling. That that might come back to haunt you. So you can't afford to lose another game that you probably should win. So having said that, I'm gonna go with Hamilton in the Vikings. Homie <laughs> <laughs> said, "Don't at me unless we got a game to schedule." <laughs> <laughs> uh, it was good to see Matty Ice get upset. Let's me know how, how passionate he is about his Madden. But you're right, Andre. Should have kicked the dang field goal. I know I know he's kicking himself, uh, taking that loss against the Saints. But hopefully they don't come hey, back hey, and bite him. He's going to win this game against the Vikings, man. It's probably going to be a blowout city. I'm just fucking with him. <laughs> yeah, but that's what you're good at. Hey, shout out to the commish, Dion, jumping on the show, getting some stuff out about Madden 18, where we're going in the dynasty. Big shout out to the homie, Andre. A speed jumping on. Always a pleasure to have you on the episode of Total Access, man. We no appreciate doubt. it. Man, it's week 14. That's our picks. Prove us right, prove us wrong. 
It's your homie expert, and you know I got my boy Farquaad with me. Yo, let's get it. We out. <laughs>